Hello everyone, if you're new to this channel, my name is Casey, or the Real Housewife of Nebraska. Now to be honest with you, most of my life I haven't been much of a housewife. I was a TV news anchor and reporter until recently, and I focused a lot of my energy of that, and then also taking care of my two young children. So when it came to wrapping presents, I usually kind of just threw them together with the help of my kids because they always wanted to help. And there was a lot of tape and everything like that. They were actually so terrible that my mom usually put them at the back of her Christmas tree or in another room. Well now mom, watch out, here I come. My mom is really good at wrapping presents, so I'm going to use some of the tips she gave me, plus other tips that I have picked up online and in stores. First off, you'll want to make sure you have the right products to make your present look the best. That includes, let's see what I all have here, regular tape along with double-sided tape. Of course, you want a scissor and pen. I also use a measuring tape, ribbon, a pick, and then you'll want, if you have odd packages, you'll want to have a box so that you can wrap it better in. I've been collecting boxes at our local, local grocery store for the past few months. And then, when it comes to wrapping paper, you might want to put a little thought into it. I want to make sure that I have a really good, sturdy wrapping paper. That way, it doesn't get holes in it, and it's also easy to fold and crease. You'll also want to think about the color that you're using for your wrapping paper so that it matches the color scheme on your tree. This year I'm going with plain gold wrapping paper and then also plain silver wrapping paper. Another reason why I like this wrapping paper is because if I don't use it all up for Christmas, I can use it for birthdays or anniversaries or all sorts of celebrations. If you're interested in the wrapping paper that I'm using, I will link it down below. And while you're there, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Now that you have the right products, let's start wrapping. Roll your paper out. And then make sure you have enough paper to cover your year present plus an additional inch or two. If your paper is like mine and it doesn't have cut lines, you might need to use your measuring tape to then make sure that you get a proper cut. Now we do our sides and for that you want to make sure you have about three quarters of paper up on the side. So about like that. We'll do it on the other side and then cut. Once again you might want to use your measuring tape. Next, you want to make sure that the bottom side of your package is facing up. Take the short end of your paper and fold it in about two inches, and then you'll tape with regular tape, but make sure you don't have too much tape showing, so that way it's not showing on your package. After you get it taped, you'll also want to make sure you do the crease very firmly. Fold it and then crease to make sure you have a really good solid crease there. Then you'll want to pull the other side really tight. I could have had a little bit more paper here I think, but it'll be just fine. And then I'll switch to my double-sided tape. Put that on the bottom of the paper. See if I can position this right for you to see it. So we put on the double sided tape. Hopefully, you can see this. Sorry. Position it a little bit better. Sometimes it's hard when you're shooting the video all by yourself. Believe it or not, right now how I have this is I have my camera, aka my cell phone, 
sitting on top of a chair to try to get this position for you, sitting on top of a chair on top of the table. Anyway, so back to this, and we make sure we pull it really tightly. Get it nice and good. Get this a little bit more straight. Make sure it's all straight. Pull it tightly. Ugh. The one thing that's hard when you have really strong paper too is that the tape, you want to make sure it holds good. Let's get that down really well. And make sure you crease all of your edges very firmly. If I need a little bit more tape. There we go. So next it's on to its sides. You want to make sure, again, you do a good crease here. Fold both sides down. Do a strong crease this way. Bend it in. In the same way on the other side. Bend it in. Bend the bottom. Strong creases are really a key, especially when you're working with really sturdy paper. And then we'll fold it up like that. Again, we're going to use double-sided tape. That way, you can basically not see any of the tape. Next comes my favorite part, and that is the ribbon. To make sure you have enough ribbon, you go on each side four times. One, two, three, four, and then on this side. One, two, three, four. There we go, we have enough. So now we're gonna put it right in the middle. We're gonna find the middle of our ribbon. That's my daughter, she says she's gonna help me. Okay, Eve, you wanna help me? Yeah. So we're gonna find the middle of the ribbon. We'll put it, make sure you put it on the top, not the bottom of your package. Then we'll flip the package over. Simply cross it in the back. And then we flip it back over. And then you can either tie it in a bow, if you like bows, or you can simply do a knot, whatever you prefer. So it's fun to experiment with different kind of picks and ribbon. Maybe you could use some twine instead of ribbon, or for a pick, you could use some holly or something even from a real tree outside. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that it will give you some holiday cheer. It's always fun to present a package to someone that's wrapped really nicely. It shows that you paid a little bit more attention to it rather than just throwing it into a box. Once again, thanks for watching and Merry Christmas everyone.